been Cal and welcome to my world. Today, another recent video game, Pickups Video. So, got this nice pile of games here. Let's get started with Game Boy game, Pokemon Blue. Yep, um, I've never actually you know, owned or played any of the original Pokemon games until recently. I got Yellow a little while ago and now I finally own Blue and uh, I've only played through it since I bought it. Very lucky getting this because especially with Pokemon Go, you know, Pokemon just sort of in everything Pokemon increased in value. So even while these games were only, you know, 20 odd quid each, they've sort of gone up a few quid. I just happened to be on eBay, looked at, you know, time ending soonest for games and so, ooh, Pokemon Blue up in a minute, only £9, no bids, that's strange. So I just placed a bid for £9 thinking, yeah, it's probably going to be a ton of people bidding last second and it'll go up to like 25 quid and I'll have missed out. Nope, 9 quid, bargain, and it is original, as soon as I got it, first thing I did was open it up and check. Uh, the save battery still works as well, so I didn't have to replace that or anything. So, great bargain, Pokemon Blue, awesome game. Next is another Japanese Super Nintendo wrestling game, one that I didn't know existed. Uh, it's by Konami and it's called Something Something Max Voltage 96. I can't remember the uh, English translation of the title. But uh, another wrestling game to add to my ever-growing wrestling game collection. I'm almost at 90 now with wrestling games. Almost 90 of them. Just wrestling games. So another one to add to my collection. Uh, a couple of PlayStation 1 games. Um, who Wants to Be a Millionaire Junior Edition. Of course I own uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Second Edition. That has all new questions. This one's the Junior Edition. Uh, just ignore this sticker on here, it did not cost me £2, I think it cost £50. So absolute bargain and it is in very good condition and complete with manual. So I was very happy with that and uh, it was just to add to the collection really. Next is Gran Turismo, the first one. Obviously a couple of months ago I got the second one and I was saying that I would like to get the first one just because it's you know, the best selling PlayStation 1 game ever. which. Kind of a, a, is astonishing to me because okay, the PlayStation 1 sold something like was it 130 million units or something? Um, there's a huge game library and there's a ton of different genres for everyone, there's something for everyone on the game on the system. You know, you've got you, you've got your Final Fantasy 7, which is you know hugely beloved, you've got Metal Gear Solid. And things like that. You know, you got your platformers, you know, like your Spyro and your Crash Bandicoots and all these other games. And the fact that a driving simulator is the number one game on the console for sales kind of blows my mind. So you know, it's just one of those I kind of wanted, literally just for the collection, just because of it being the best selling game on the system. And one day I kind of would really like to sit down and give these games a proper go, but I think first I want to buy a steering wheel you know, on the pedals because I never had those as a kid. I always wanted to try them and I thought it'd be cool to uh, try and play the game using those. So that's something for the future. Next up, a PlayStation 3 game and Bulletstorm. Uh, it did not cost me £5, um, it actually cost me £1.99. Very happy about this. I've been after it for a while because it just looks like a really fun, crazy shooting game rather than these super serious Call of Duty crap. And uh, I also found out it's getting a, a HD remaster as well, so it must have been quite good. And uh, I've played maybe an hour, an hour and a half of it so far, and it is so much fun. Just the insane, it, it doesn't take itself seriously. You know, you just murder things with tons of bullets, you got a crazy like chain whip thing, you can grab all the enemies and bring them towards you and shoot them or kick them and punch them. Very, very fun game. So pretty happy to have that to my collection. Uh, some PSP titles now. The first one is not a game, it is of course the UND, and it is Shawn Michaels from the Vault collection. And uh, the main reason I got this is because it has my all-time favourite match on it, and that's the Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker. So it's just cool to have it on portable. So I can sit in bed with the PSP or whatever, or take it out with me and watch the greatest match of all time. So that's what that's for. 
Next, a game I never really thought I would buy because I'm not into them. You know, I owned the first on PS2 and I never really wanted the second one. I'm not interested in the new one. But it was cheap. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, also the PSP. Uh, this was also $1.99. Uh, it usually goes for about six to eight pounds whenever I see it. So I saw it at one ninety nine, and you know it's good condition, complete with manual. Um, you know, I just, I just kind of had to pick it up really. Uh, will I ever really play it? Probably not. But I suppose it goes towards my uh, Star Wars game collection, which just keeps building and building. Next, we have the video game for Rocky Balboa. A uh, fan of the Rocky games, the boxing games, um, I really liked uh, the ones you know, the PS2, Xbox, GameCube era. Uh, there was two, there was Rocky and Rocky Legends, both really fun, you know, arcade boxing games. Um, it follows the story from the films, obviously. So, um, you know, cool to have this one uh, handheld. Again, it was cheap, so I thought I'd pick it up and uh, see what it's like. I played a little bit so far and I got my ass kicked on it because I had no idea what I was doing. Maybe next time I'll you know, read the instruction manual or something. And finally for the PSP, Dave Mira BMX Challenge. Uh, very disappointed with this and what I played actually because I thought it was just going to be you know, a handheld Dave Mira game. Um, picked up one of the Dave Mira games recently for the PlayStation 1. And you know, they're, they're basically Tony Hawk games but on a bike. This one doesn't seem to be the same. It seems to be, like it says, BMX challenge. It literally seems to be like just a bunch of mini challenges that you have to do. And it's not as fun as just having your own know, open area and you do a bunch of tricks and you know, do challenges within the time limit, you know, like collect certain things, get a certain score. Uh, it doesn't appear to be quite the same as that, so pretty disappointed with it, but it was cheap. Next for the DS is James Pond, codenamed Robocod, um, an old uh, Mega Drive game. Uh, decided to pick it up along with the Mega Drive version. Um, I was looking uh, for games with a Christmassy theme um, to do a video at Christmas, and this one was one that was mentioned, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. And when I was looking to see, because at first I thought, ooh, a 16 bit game. I'll see if it came out with Super Nintendo. It didn't, uh, but it did get released for pretty much everything else. It has been ported to so many consoles, you know, after the 16-bit era, you know, including the DS. So um, I just happened to come across the DS version for uh, quite cheap. So I picked the DS version up, and then I got um, the complete version for the Mega Drive on eBay as well. A couple of days later. Um, for what I played of it so far, it's it's okay-ish, um, nothing special, but uh, I'll give it a try, and I'm sure there'll be something to do with it um, on the, in the month of uh, December for a Christmas special on uh, my YouTube channel here. And finally, Silent Scope Complete Collection on the Xbox, only one pound fifty as well. Uh, this has um, all four. Well, oh, okay, so all three arcade hits and the console original. Now, when I bought it, I thought it was just three, because you know, it sort of shows you know, three little areas there. Um, I got the first two on the, the PS2 a couple of months ago. I'd never heard of them before, saw them. It's like, oh, that's cool. Didn't know there was a third, and then I noticed there was a complete collection, and I thought, oh, that's cool. If I ever see it, I'll pick it up. For 150 I saw it, picked it up. And it turns out there's not just three, there are, there are four games in it. There's the, the other three arcade hits, which I'm assuming is what one, two and three were. And then the console original. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet. I haven't even tested this one actually. Um, I haven't been asked to because I could have kept the Xbox out from under the bed and hook it up and put the game in and try it. Everything else I could test you know, without really doing anything. You know, handheld, easy set up. My uh, SNES is usually always almost set up, it's easy access. PSP, handheld, PlayStation 1, my PS3 is constantly set up. Uh, Mega Drive is currently set up at the moment, so I was testing that as well. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't I even tested this game, so I'm not sure what you know the, the console original was or anything like that. But yeah, it's just cool to have you know, the, the complete collection after buying one and two and realising there was also a third and now realise there's a fourth as well or something. Uh, and for 150, can't go wrong for that, for a, a bundle of four. 
and it's on the Xbox, which is cool because uh, the Xbox analog controllers are so much better than the original PlayStation ones. So that's cool to add to my collection. And those are my most recent video game pickups. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.